Good evening, everyone. Oh. Welcome to the uh, uh, January, what is this, the 19th, 19th meeting mm -hmm. of trustees, second meeting of the month. We have three trustees, fiscal officer, RT, road administrator. What else do we need? Okay. Um, with the program. Um, I would entertain a motion to adopt minutes of January 5, 2022. Is there a motion? Could be Wait till next meeting. Whoa, 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 whoa. We're going to wait for the whole thing. Yeah, I, I have not seen it until <coughs> All right, ago. then we'll put it up for the next meeting. Okay. Um, uh, so we'll table or we'll put it off, whatever. I would entertain a motion to adopt minutes of January 17th, 2022. I so move. <coughs> Is there a second? A second. It's been moved and seconded. Any further discussion regarding this resolution or this motion? Hearing none, may we vote please. Mr. Hosner? Yes. Ms. Moyer? Yes. Ms. Demetrius? Yes. And now entertain a motion to approve payment of bills the amount of 117000 Eight hundred seventy-eight dollars and fifty-three cents. That's cool. it is. Uh, general funds thirty-six fifty-six seventy. Fire fund thirty-eight thousand eighty-six dollars and seventy-four cents. Cemetery one hundred seventy-two dollars fifty-five cents. EMS billing sixty-seven thousand six hundred seventy-two dollars and eighty-two cents. Road and bridge four thousand nine hundred fourteen dollars and seventy-six cents. And no bond retirement, no capital improvement anymore. Is there a motion? I so move. Is there a second? Second. Um, thank you. Any further discussion regarding payment of bills? I had a question. Um, the EMS billing, the 67672 mm -hmm. uh, Colin says there's a big chunk of like 24000 there. <coughs> you remember what the other big chunk of that is? What the rest of it is? Mm -hmm. Oh, you remember the bills? I did. I, that's why I was asking, because I didn't see anything substantial. Payroll is portion of it. I don't know. Okay, well, we'll look, never mind. We'll just look at, look at those as we go. I think there's what we're doing for that. Okay, correspondence received. Um, did you call the vote? Oh, may we have a vote, please? Sure. Mr. Meacher? Yes. Ms. Moyer? Yes. Mr. Hollister? Yes. Uh, correspondence received. Uh, ARP, a final rule issued from the Ohio Township Association. This is the 99th final rule for a RPA. I hope it's the final one. Um, if you all did not see the email that I sent regarding the ARPA final rule, uh, let me reiterate that what used to be uh, the, the rule that if you spent the money, you had to have a paper trail, it had to be justified, it had to be notarized and stamped and know exactly where it comes from, here and there, the other thing. Now, the way I understand it, and it seems to be pretty fairly clear, is they changed their mind on that, and up to $10 million in your bank account, you can pretty much just say, blanket lost revenue. And use that money as you wish. So, I understood it to mean you, if you're using it for lost revenue, like because you lost revenue because of because of the pandemic, uh -huh. that you may now use it. Yeah, it used to be you'd have to prove that you lost it. Uh -huh. We're down, you know, ten thousand dollars or whatever. We'll, we'll prove it. Uh -huh. And now they're saying you don't have to prove it. Yeah. But that's not the same as if things go in, like suppose we gave some to a homeless shelter last month or something. Um, we would have to justify that. I mean, it's just the lost revenue we don't have to prove. I would have to double check and see okay. whether it's specifically to the lost revenue. I, the way I had read it just was you could call it lost revenue up to $10 million. Okay. But, Perhaps not. They probably won't. You're not saying we got 10 million. 
No, no, we do not get it. But that would be first check. Ohio Power and Signing Board uh, a list of issues and concerns of inventory ores. Uh, Green County Sanitary Engineering Pipeline Newsletter. 2022 Atarma Coverage Newsletter. Grinnell Mill Doc Sentiment, the drug Executive Director and Grinnell Mill Foundation uh, Other Director. Uh, this is just uh, supporting documentation to the Glen about the potential um, work that we're going through with them. Uh, MBRPC's Executive Director's Update and the ISC Institute Steering Committee meeting uh, on Thursday, uh, or excuse me, Friday. Uh, Vesper Energy invite to attend Trustee's February 7th meeting. Uh, we're not sure if they're going to do <coughs> more meetings or not. Is that that they invited themselves? True. They did invite themselves. Um, I thought you told us that on Saturday. But and now today. Are we ready to move on? Yes. Correction for the 22 Directory of Public Officials for the League of Women Voters. Uh, I submitted that for us. Yes. Oh, doubt advice for the State Route 72 resurfacing next May and how, how that's going to be detoured around. Uh, Township Highway Mod certification, which is here, and we'll do that under roads. On status, revenue status, corporation uh, status, and I'll be back in one second because I love the other correspondence. Yeah, well, you're on my desk. Will you get something for me? Sure. Never mind, I'll get it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Who's vice president? We could adjourn. <laughs> Damn. You're vice president. I know. I'm vice, I'm vice, vice chair. chair. Facetious. Vice right. chair. Okay. Vice President tried to adjourn, but <coughs> blocked. I wouldn't make the motion. Oh, that happens all the time. Um, some late-breaking correspondence. Uh, I'm going to hold that one just for that goes to the other. Uh, Ohio Edison was checking in with Miami Township for uh, um, service uh, correspondence. Uh, I'm not sure, but well, there might be some Ohio Edison service out there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Road, have a good part of it. Yeah. Road, yeah. Belt Road. Okay. Well, yeah, that's all over Edison. They're just being nice and reminding us that here's their numbers if anybody needs it. Um, and I thought they asked us if they need any update on our numbers, but that's just them? Pretty much. We don't. Have any numbers to call anybody? I mean, a standard number, but you just get the run around. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I heard I deferred the compensation newsletter uh, in the know. Uh, a proposal, a request from Family Promise in. <coughs> I'm not sure where Family Promise is. In Green County, anyway, and they're asking for a commitment from us using our AR, AARP, ARPA. Uh, funds to uh, uh, help the community in a, in a family stabilization program and Fairborn expansion project of Family Promise of Green County, Ohio. And there is information attached to that if anybody's interested in reading Did that they information. identify services they offer in Miami Township? Uh, no. I think it's a blanket. Give it a quick read in here. And then you just said they're from Fairborn. Uh -huh. Well, they, they call out Fairborn. I, I, it sounded like that's where it was. Um, okay. okay. Um, there's a Ohio Redevelopment Grants meeting um, proposed, but we don't have any properties that we're going to be uh, entering into that redevelopment. Grant program, so that really is a good one for us. And uh, and this is the last, or next to last, local support innovation exchange webinar from ODOT uh, through the through the feds. It's to build a better mousetrap about helping reinforce bridges. And so if you've got an idea on how to build a better bridge, 
let them know. And then with our, our two from Kingswood, two regarding Kingswood Solar, uh, actually both are from uh, our attorney Lee Sloan, and I'm going to ask Mr. Hollister to um, comment on both. First is the uh, scope of services, which has been thrown around, but is now a piece of paper asking for an increase of an additional $6,000 to finish a project he's working on. Would you like to add anything to that, Don? Uh, well, the original contract was $15,000. Mm -hmm. uh, and he describes in his letter, uh, maybe not as poignantly as I would feel, it, uh, what was not predicted in our original contract is uh, he engaged with uh, a volunteer consultant on uh, the possible impacts uh, on drainage, they have plants, uh, animal transit through the property uh, as an expert. And so Lee has been working with Eric Sauer, with this expert I'm referring to. Eric's not charging any money. Lee is framing the information he, that Eric has in a way that fits uh, testimony and uh, presentations uh, before the Ohio Power Siting Board. Um, and Eric is kind of a point guy for it appears for, for three townships. So you, know, you could argue, well, we should be asking other townships to contribute. Maybe we should, but uh, he's doing this work that is Lee Sloan is. Eric is doing it for free. Lee is working with Eric, and uh, I think will be dramatically strengthening our statement or our presentation to the Power Siding Board. Uh, and this is not what was originally anticipated. Another angle on this, and this I could be this could be unrealistic, but Lee has become kind of a leader among the, the uh, Attorneys. I, uh, so, so for instance, he is doing the work of <laughs> scheduling an email, or scheduling, or not email, scheduling uh, virtual meetings, and uh, now who's supposed to pay for that? Well, if we're going strictly on his hours, we're paying. Uh, the original contract was $15,000, and he's estimating that with what I've just described and the pending hearings before the Power Siding Board, a normal case would be maybe a two or three days. Lee is estimating five or six days because of the volume of stuff that is coming up. Uh, so simply being present on those hearings costs more money. So he's estimating that his work will be $6,000 more. He's also said that 
he'll stick with it even if we don't pay him. But that he wants us to pay him another six thousand dollars. Or excuse me, to be open to up to another six thousand. Thank you. What is your feeling, being the representative from Miami Township, uh, what is your feeling about granting that request? Uh, I think he's doing the work, and I think we should, uh, should support that. Uh, the village of Yellow Springs, last year talked briefly about giving us some money towards our expenses and they dropped it. I don't remember an exact train of thought there. Uh, I think we should suggest to the village and the other two townships that we've taken on some sh expenses that would be reasonably shared. Mm -hmm. And uh, but I think I think we should pay it, mm -hmm. and we should su suggest to our partners that they consider taking a, a part of that six thousand dollars. But. I, I, I don't think we should assume that anyone will join. Yeah. Because they're also paying their attorney. The village is not. The other two townships are. Yeah. Well, what's your thought? Well, if he's doing the work, I think we should pay them. Um, I don't know how much the others... I, I remember going to one of the meetings and hearing what I heard from the Cedarville's attorney. They seem, he seemed very a really good attorney, and I don't, and has done a lot of work. So I don't, I don't really know comparatively if we've paid more than them. Um, the other thing is with the village. I don't know if they've taken. I don't. I know the other two townships share our, our legal position, our um, intervening position. I'm not sure if the village has done any work and has any kind of consensus. I mean, they have to, you know, they have a. A constituency to answer to, so I don't know if they're still in the game at this point. But, um, oh, but um, and it seems to me we could vote to to support or, or vote to authorize uh, up to another six thousand dollars, and write a letter to the village to the other two townships. Uh, saying, you know, that we think it would be appropriate if they felt like this was accurate, uh, that this was an above beyond uh, I really don't know what to say to the village, uh, but to the other two townships, that that he's that we are uh, Offering performing services that are not just our township, but uh, the, the three of us would be reasonable to share if you, know, you would understand if they don't agree. Are you willing to make that motion? Yes. All right, you I, I made that to motion. Cor make that correspondence? If, if we agree to that motion, I will mm -hmm. write that correspondence. Is there a second to that motion? I'm sorry. Okay. And the motion is? Yeah, I just want to be clear on the motion. Will, oh, the, the motion is to uh, be open. Uh, right request of, my, of Cedarville and Xenia Township that they consider uh, sharing in our $6,000 additional cost. <coughs> Which we're committing to. It's not contingent upon their okay. Got it. I second. 
a motion and a second. Any further discussion regarding that motion? Oops. Maybe we vote, please. Oops. Sorry. <laughs> Mr. Hollister? Yes. Ms. Moyer? Yes. Mr. Mutcher? Yes. Uh, the uh, last piece of correspondence, I'm going to read to it because it potentially, probably, well, the last time, but it's probably more confidential than should be thrown around here. But just uh, yesterday, we, we received, <coughs> Don for, received and forwarded to us uh, from Lee Sloan, uh, Don's kid. Uh, he reads, he says, excuse me, Don, I'm meeting with Kingwood Friday at 2 p.m. I forwarded the invite from Kingswood attorney Mike Seferini. If you're not familiar, Microsoft Teams is like Zoom and WebEx can be used to an internet browser. Let me know if you have any questions. Lee, that's, that's the extent of the correspondence. Um, if there's anything that you want to add, if not, just let it go. Well, let it go. Well, not add, just repeat that three townships that are, cons are affected by the Kingwood solar proposal are a representative of each township will be meeting virtually with a Kingwood representative later this week. Okay. Thank you. Uh, any further correspondence in or out? Hearing none, we'll ask if there's public comment on agenda items this afternoon. Hearing none, we'll move along to the Fire Department report. Chief? All righty. Uh, since our last meeting, there have been 38 EMS incidents, seven of which one that Uh Six fire incidents, none of which went back. Moving on to new EMT, volunteer member Ricky Davis passed his EMT class, so yeah, Ricky. Great. Uh, so he's not a firefighter EMT. Uh, you have a resolution to reclassify said volunteer to a part-time position so we can use them for fill-ins. Mm -hmm. As we have people out sick or vacation or, or need extra staffing for whatever. Uh, so it's resolution 2022-07. Reclassifying the unworthy to part time I would now entertain a motion to approve resolution 22, 2022 07 with classification of an MTR employee. Is there a motion? I move that we. Is there a second? I'll second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion regarding this resolution? Hearing none, may we vote, please. Mr. Hollister? Yes. Ms. Moyer? Yes. Mr. Mutcher? Yes. All right. Thank you. Yes. Okay. Uh, also attached in your packet for your consumption, that's a word term, but <laughs> perusal as requested um, is uh, our apparatus inventory. So obviously you don't have to look at it now, but maybe for the next meeting, if you wish to discuss, but list everything there um, that we have currently. Uh, status, costs, estimated replacement, that type of thing. So it's all listed there. Thank, Thank you. you. You are welcome. Okay, so you have any, have you had any discussions right. with Jenny regarding the uh, state replacement medic? Yes, he is awaiting uh, information from Penn Care or ambulance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but, yes, okay. okay, so things are moving along. Yes. They were checking to see what was, um, what's that thing called, STS, state term schedule um, for ambulances. The last time they did it was a two and a half year contract with the state. So the guy thinks it's still in and thinks that we did it in May or something. So hmm. I'll say it was a little bit of money. Yeah. Okay. A little bit. Yeah. <laughs> um, Oh, yeah. COVID's back. Uh, no one has it. None of my staff have it, but their spouses do. So uh, two of the staff are off in isolation because they've tested negative, but their spices have uh, tested positive. And, uh, so hopefully they will continue to test negative. Uh, one staff person's missed two shifts so far. One, we had to send home this morning. So. 
But he said he actually started doing some stuff. So yeah, and they're both double vaccinated and boosted. So. Oh, I'll be on vacation February 10th through the 15th, just a brief vacation. Excellent. Okay. Uh, and then the fire station update. Um, well, it's not the old news first. Uh, last time I reported the bay floor door was broken, but it is not fixed. We attempted to repair ourselves. That was a mistake. So <laughs> we called him the guy. It took him five minutes to fix the door. Sorry. You know, hey, lessons learned. But it was a nice uh, opportunity to work with the village because they loved us the one of their scissor lifts. Boom. So. Yeah. At least Nate learned how to use the scissor lifts. So. The door won't open. You can't disconnect it and open it by hand. Uh, it was actually there is a way to do that with chain with the chains on the side, but this it was just one simple little pin that fell out and the ball had broke loose. Mm -hmm. They got the pin back in, and then the door was insisting. And sensor thought that it was open, even though it was closed. And we couldn't make it open either way. So, got from Bronson. It took him five minutes when he got here. <laughs> I guess we learned that lesson. Uh, the humidity still seems to be under control, so so far so good. And then the new stuff last night: the water heater stopped heating. Um, so I contacted Jason Funderburg this morning, who reminded. Me that it was Frank Co was the contractor. Two of their friends were out here and worked for about five hours and had determined that it was the one part they didn't have with them, the gas valve. So they have ordered it on a, uh, hopefully an overnight and they'll be back hopefully tomorrow to get it fixed. But in the meantime, cold showers only. For the <laughs> advise Georgia of that, so she'll make sure everyone takes a cold shower, I guess. So. Uh, and that is it. Other than um, if all goes toward a plan, we'll have six people, I believe, in um, a cold water rescue class on Saturday that's in township. Is so. Cold so we'll learn how to use the equipment that was purchased with that community fundraising. So. Is that used? Not yet. I was going to say. So. Are you kidding? It's the, the way it always works, you know, we bought it in response to having two dogs through the ice and we'll never have that. <laughs> At least we're ready. So. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, that's it. Who's going to be the cold water rescue people? I know Nate's going. Uh, I think the duty crew on Saturday is going to go because they're just at the old career center. So I'm kind of screaming back at the Georgia, Justin, a couple of those guys, maybe Nick. Hey, yeah. What water are they using? I guess there's a pond back there. Oh. Oh, the, the, the location? Yeah, yeah. where are you talking about? The old career center on oh. West, uh, West English, West High. Not West Eden. 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 Eden, yeah. <laughs> it's West something. Eden. Uh, yeah, uh, Chief Beagle, uh, they were doing a class and he invited us. It wasn't the notice I was hoping for. I found out yesterday the class was happening Saturday, but maybe was able to get some people together. So. Okay. That'd be a good, good experience testing out the equipment. Yeah. Any volunteer dogs? <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> see what they come up with. They're from TJ. They're better safe them. Yeah, exactly. So, I'm oh, sorry. Okay. Go ahead. I just look at these all very normal. That set the center point energy 1754 took one month. No, two months. Oh, two months. Okay. <laughs> Still a lot of money, but it's yeah. too much. Yeah, I'm glad to hear that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, speaking of utilities, did you ever have a look-see about the Clifton utilities that we were speaking of the last meeting about how much higher the gas was there than normal? I have not had a chance to look at that. I'm sorry. I, I think, actually, um, now knowing that we weren't getting um, an input, we, you know, we, they sent, I talked to Centerpoint, right, about, um, about our bills, and we were getting an invoice, so we were getting double, double. every invoice that came was twice, was two oh. months worth instead of one. So that might have been a For Clifton, too, or for Clifton. I, I think, yeah, don't they do, don't do Centerpoint? Yeah. Yeah, Centerpoint. Yeah. Okay. I guess. Well, we didn't. 
We didn't get a bill this month, then, so. I just got one guess. today. Oh, okay. And, that, um, and that's what, see, so the one, that, yeah, like the Suncourt bill, that was for, um, that was for a year. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's for two months, the right. 1754 year. So I think maybe that's what was going on at the Okay. Maybe. Oh, there we go. Okay, I see. Maybe. We were, we were getting dealt, you know, two months bill in one. Okay, well, up on the right hand corner of the bill, mm -hmm. it, it says, yeah. Balance forward yep. or whatever. So and it was saying, yeah, that was happening. I just, I check that for the Clifton bill. Yeah, I will. I did uh, have one of the guys go over and check the thermostat. Thermostats. Uh -huh. And they're all set at like 50 seconds. So. That's good. Uh, anything about the roof? Uh, no, I did receive a roof contractor info from Don and from one of our members. So we're waiting to get some more clips with the, with the, with the, with the, with the village. I said you would do. <laughs> oh, yeah. There you go. So hopefully between all those, we can get some of this. OK. Good. But in the last one. Yeah. Uh, OK. Um, to your knowledge, have you replaced the air, the air filters again? I will have to check. Because we're past the every six months, the I, second. I believe so, because Ted was talking about he had made the work on filters, but um, I will double check. It should be in our software. To your knowledge, are they going around to the little individual units and pulling out those washing, washable filters? Uh, yes, I do believe so, because Ted was also talking about uh, how disgusting it was to rinse out a, <laughs> a filter and made you think about how all the crap you're breathing. So. <laughs> okay. And then he was also waxing rhapsodic about um, the amount of filters that we have in this place. Uh -huh. you know, hidden in little strange nooks and crannies. So. <laughs> I think I'll, I'll double check. Are you, did, you, did he find the one in the in the shower room, in the bunk room that's yes. up in the ceiling? In the that was one that he was like, no, there's a filter in there. <laughs> I guess that means. <laughs> mm -hmm. OK. All right, well, that's good that, that they're on that. Uh, Somewhere along the line, the, the public signs, uh, the temporary public signs either went back to where they shouldn't have been, or went back to where I didn't want them, or uh, they're now in the, in the whatever that is. That's the new Yeah. Now, I, I don't know if you know this, but we have among us a, a value trustee who within 48 hours of her first meeting, had already contacted a sign contractor and got an estimate and a, and a firm date <laughs> to replace the sign on the front door. Where the sign on the second set of doors could say, not necessarily an, an ugly white ball, but could say something that says public entrance, as opposed to those two cardboard signs that are sitting there on the wall. On the wall. You know, I thought you were going to do something about those signs. I thought you were going to do something about the outside sign. You were yeah, going on the wall or something. Uh, yeah, and I, I asked McCray to give me a price on that and just had to back to it. Should have gone to pass on it instead. It would have been faster. Probably. <laughs> probably more expensive, but yeah. <laughs> okay, well, just... So we're putting a sign that says public entrance on the glass? What do you suggest for the rest of you? Don't people know that it's... The entrance of the building that it says no one knows when they look at those glass doors. I mean, what I was what I asked McCray for was a sign to put on the corner of the building, yeah. the same corner. And I will tell you, sitting here 40 hours a week, everyone knows how to get this building, <laughs> but but um, yeah, that's pretty but um, yeah, that's a sign I'm waiting for from McCray, and then. I assume when they get to these doors, they figure it out since it's says. Okay, so then can we lose these two campaign oh, yeah. signs? Oh, okay, great. Oh, yeah, I can make this group. Okay. If you need storage, I, I store campaign signs. <laughs> if you want, I was just going to put them in Chris's room. <laughs> well, that's, that's an interesting um, transition here. Because I have a, a question for you. Okay. How well utilized is your uh, is your radio room up front here? Uh huh. Pretty. Mm -hmm. Most a lot of, a lot of the day. 
using their, you know, using their computer. Or How many guys? One or two. Not on the ship. It just seems like an awfully big area for one or two guys. Oh, it's a significantly larger area than we thought it was going to be in the, in the design. Yeah, it sure would be nice to have a township storage room <laughs> in this building somewhere. So let's you mean instead of the Kwanzaa hut? Yeah, instead of the Kwanzaa hut. Easy access to uh, shred, shred it, shred, shred it all. It's well, that's something to think about anyway. Yeah, you know, just keep that in mind. Well, for something like that, I think we should wait another year just in case things develop differently. Sure, sure. You mean on a whole year, yeah, a while. We're still getting settled, even though it's been a year. Did you know we received the first half of the Bath Township payments? Margaret showed me the, the check. Excellent. We split it. We split it. <laughs> um, could you bring this up to speed with what Alex Berry wants us to do? Oh, uh, I mean, basically, in a nutshell, it's just look for roof quotes for them. Did you Let's say that again? I didn't. Look for quotes, for look better quotes for, for roof, roof repair. Quotes. Yes. Well, I thought, I got the impression that he wanted a commitment of substantial funds to convert that building into the big community training center that was that's gonna that's gonna benefit Cedarville and Miami Township and and, and the meeting we had spoken about looking for grant funding for that project. Uh-huh. Well I was yeah, but I, I have a email that, that says looking for using grant money ours for that. I mean, we haven't applied for any grant money for it, so I don't you know the grant money we have is what I'm saying. Oh spending that oh no I I didn't commit us to any of that stuff. I mean, unless he misunderstood. I mean, we spoke about going after government grant, you know, federal grants for training, support, that type of stuff. Okay. But not using anything we can right, Well, maybe we'll find out, because he has asked multiple times to come to a meeting and present his. Yeah, we just talked about conceptual plans for the space, but it's contingent on getting the roof fixed, and that's contingent on getting some source of funding. But I did not tell him that we were rolling in cash and that money to give. Well, yeah, he's got some idea to the village. So. It may or may, not, may, it may or may not include a roof, but he seemed to want to come and present it to us. So we'll see. Yeah, I mean, we, all I did was talk it about the plans that we had talked about. It would be appropriate for her, him to come and talk about the building, mm -hmm. regardless of our inclination to support. And I, and I said he was certainly welcome, and I was just, I, I just wanted to get information, because he made it sound like you and he had talked about this potential proposal for the use of the building and the conversion of it. And I just said I you know, wanted to get a little more information about that before he came to the meeting, just yeah, so I mean, he, The only thing that we speed. briefed, I mean, I briefed the council on, and included him, were the conceptual plans that we've discussed for the last seven years, but I mean, there's no commitment of funding or anything like that, uh -huh. particularly in light of the roof needing a significant repair. Mm -hmm. um, you know, most of the stuff was small things that would be handled through budget money, through you know, building props and that kind of stuff, mm -hmm. between us and Cedar Hill and the associations. Mm -hmm. There are some loftier ideas in terms of replacing bay doors and all that stuff off, but that's all stuff that would be training grant mm -hmm. contingent. Mm -hmm. You don't need to do that. But, okay. so. Well, I'll get back to him now and say you're yeah. more than welcome to come yeah. to meeting. Which, I mean, they were like just excited else. that we wanted to do something. Because yeah. you know, I figured they were going to say, well, we've got you know, Frank who wants to turn it into a, whatever, a bar and grill. But, no, they have nothing. Uh, a craft house, perhaps. Yeah, yes. But yeah, they had nothing, so they were just excited that you know, they still wanted to do something. Like that, so. And then it hit me with the roof yesterday, so it was kind of put a damper on the evening. 
Could you call a barrel room craft house? What do you think? I heard there's craft house already going in over there. Mm -hmm. well, no, I mean, this is a barrel room craft house. This we can open our own uh, distillery. That'll be a source of income for us. True. Craft distillery is a big business. Fire truck signs. Oh, we have. Well, there you go. <laughs> mm -hmm. Thank you, Chief. That's all I have for the fire on the this afternoon. Uh, Marilyn, Don, would like to I have nothing more. Discuss anything? I would only. I was going to contact you. Okay. For a chat. Just for a chat. Okay. Cool. <laughs> All the things I don't know, I'm making a list. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, now we know he's here 40 hours a week, except for February yeah. 3rd through yes. the 10th. <laughs> uh, when, when are you here? 8.30 to 4? Typically 9 to 6, 9 to 5. I had to 10 to 6. It's got older, I'm coming in earlier. Okay. Not, not tomorrow. You don't do that tomorrow. Mondays through Fridays? Yep. Except not tomorrow. I'll be in Columbus tomorrow. Okay. I'm half day on Friday. So two days next week at the OTA conference. Oh, you're going? Not there, I'm going. Huh? <laughs> I'm hoping the staff can follow Colin tends to respond quickly to email or text. Yeah, I didn't, uh, oh, didn't realize that I was like the man for that, but apparently I said, oh, I'm available these two days. I know, that's that meant. Well, I'm going those two days. So. so, what are you guys talking about? You're talking about next week's conference? The OTA conference. I will be there with some of my compadres, staff, and our Ohio Fire Chief Association. Group. Because I'm still debating whether I'm actually going to go. Which would be next oh. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, every Sunday. Oh, something. I see. Okay. Cemetery Road? Yes. It's the last meeting. We've had one burial. What was your first one? St. Glenn Ford. We had one day as far as that. We don't do Mondays, but we may accept it. Not much going on there. We talked off some graves the other day with what we could. And right now it's a little too wet to do anything. But that's about the extent of it. You said more signs. Pardon? Estimate on the sign arrival? Uh, no. no. I, I'm not sure. But I did add your, your second G. Oh, good. Uh huh. We'll figure out where to place it. Pardon? I thought there was an email. More signs? More signs. But I don't know when they're going to be. Oh, okay. All right, yeah. I know, I know you. Might need some more pipe, maybe. How many, how many more? 21. We'll need some more pipe. Where'd yeah, you get oh, that? Yeah. Where'd you get that? Daytona? <coughs> yeah, Elro. Elro? Yeah. Where's that? On Springfield Street. I'll, I'll give a call. Right. Oh, in Dayton? Yeah. Oh, okay. Because we can take the trailer down and get it. Yeah. You may have, may have to. It might be a little safer. Yeah. <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> Please let me know. Yeah. You know, that's about all I have is curious about the signs of things. Or your call and bury them. What about it? When's it going? Probably in a container with uh, our COVID tests that Colin says is out in the Pacific somewhere. Mm -hmm. um, anything for uh, anything for Dan on cemeteries? Marilyn? Nothing for me. No. 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 Uh, two, two quick things. What, what is it about the bed of the old truck that's not reusable? You, you said well, the frame works been very well. With, you know, with the frame of the bed, the bolster truck that's been well. It has been well. Yes. So it's tweaked. Uh -huh. it's, it's, I'm 17 years old. So yeah. And K. Rose could not repair that? I, they wouldn't repair it. No. I'm, I'm going over to get an estimate. Okay. Sometime okay. Like after I get back home. Yeah. I'm I just get, a, get an estimate on everything mm -hmm. and ask them about the plow. If we can use a plow, that's another option we might not be able to do because it might not work on the new. You see, yeah. the, the one on the 2012 is different than the. Yeah. 
the same cloud, but the framework is different. Right. I don't, I don't have to yeah, no, I know. I know, I'm trying to save money. We will use the spreader. Yeah. It's still fun. There's nothing wrong with the spreader. Yeah. yeah. All right, well, I just wasn't sure if that was something that, you know, maybe you weren't or we weren't capable of, of welding that stainless steel, but I'm, I'm, I'm you know, somebody else. They can weld. Well, mm -hmm. you know, right. It's going to be up uh, Okay. Let's see what the, the, the official or no. mm -hmm. Um, I would entertain a, a motion to uh, adjourn into executive session for uh, purposes of hiring, firing, disciplining, whatever personnel, the whole nine yards. I've covered it all, haven't I? Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll make that motion. Do we have a second? second? I'll second. All those in favor, say aye. This is aye. discussing personnel. Uh -huh. But hiring, firing, and you and or, that hiring, firing. Yeah, or disciplining. Oh, okay. you, you can't just say personnel. Remember, and this cannot be know. someone who's already been here until we got our hands. We used to do a lot of things, but we got our hands slapped. We did. Yeah. I remember that. No one did. You didn't okay. hear me. I said this can't be any about anyone who's already been buried. Oh God. No. Yeah, I'd like to invite. Uh, Administrator Pagol can already be with us on his own. All right. We are back into public session. Uh, would anyone care to make a motion regarding uh, what, what was discussed in executive session? I make a motion that we hire Brandon for up to 40 hours a week at a living wage. At $15 an hour. At $15 an hour. With health insurance, um, and the, and he can um, he can be uh, participate in the dental plan that we have the the fifty percent split. Am I forgetting anything, Mark? Mm -hmm. I'll okay. second that motion. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion regarding that motion? Hearing none, may we vote, please? Mr. Hollister. Yes. Ms. Moyer. Yes. Mr. Meacher. Yes. Do we know, so this is just an offer to him. He doesn't know. Right. Yeah. yeah. Just being offered. May I have a highway mileage? Certainly. Please. Okay. Um, so we're moving on to road now. Yes, we are. Uh, road administrator. Yes, sir. Do we have any roads out there? We do. All right. They're all free of snow. Good. They had a first pile of snow for all the year. Did and we really do much plowing? Yes, we did. Really yes, we did. It yes. started out, I didn't. By the time I got past Houston okay. Road to High Road, I was plowing. It had to be a snow day. The they they went from real fine to like that day. Okay. It just switched over. And then it went back to real fine. But no. it was accumulating. And we were able to clean everything up with pretty good. Made a little drifting, but nothing major. Uh, plow working all right. The pump working okay. The lights all fine, yeah. lighting. We just serviced all that. We serviced that truck uh, two weeks ago. That's ready to move. The spreader spreading? Yes, sir. All right. We can't repair things that work. The heater working and the frosting working? Oh, right no, no, no. Uh -huh. The window it works too. Put it down. Let it be out. Okay, well, that's that's good to hear. What else is going on? Um, your sign on Houston Road has been with us. Uh huh, I saw it. We called the county and said, You got a sign down too. So they said, We'll take care of the whole thing. Good. Because their date and their sign was down. Yeah. And they knew about it. Yeah. They knew about it, so they had to do it. But they took care of us. Mm -hmm. Very good. We had a good connection there now. He said, Call me anytime. Okay. Uh -huh. Good. That was like the new one. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have Brandon pull some salt tomorrow for stock. Put this back up so we got it. In case they're busy and we can't get it, you know, we need salt. Yeah, I'm oh, sure. So we'll have all a few words tomorrow. No, I'm. <laughs> I'd like to see that shed relatively full. Well, I'd like to keep it at least half full. Yeah. You know, we could run for a while that way. Yeah. We've probably got we'll be tub in here now if he brings another 24 in it. Good. Did I ask if Marilyn, has Marilyn been shown the garage yet? And you got a, a key, that kind of thing? I do not have a key to the garage. I don't either. So it would be good to. <laughs> And I, I, I talked to Richard, somewhere. I talked to Colin, I talked to 
Okay. Well, this is another stage of getting. Yeah, that'd be fun. Yeah, you can get stuff and see your mess. I, 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 I have her miss yeah. in I don't give her this. giving her a road tour just because of COVID and the like. Yeah. Uh, we are going to be fastly approaching having to submit the contract for uh, um, for three county like for road work. So we'll need to take the road tour at some point, yeah. um, one way or the other, in the next probably yeah. month or so. But well, it, this is going to subside. It'll come next month and they'll. They want to turn it in by, it was early last year. I know. So, Green County does any repairs we do? No, we go in on a collective bid all the time. So, so we get a lower county. price if we participate. And we, we just piggyback piggy, piggy onto what they're having done, and we get a lower price that way because it's more volume. Or lower. It's last for resurfacing year. only, it's not for repair. It's not like potholes or, or culverts or any of those yeah. things. It's, it's only resurfacing. Yeah. And, and, and this, that kind of stuff. I mean, yeah. this could be for another time, but having just took the little mini course on the OTA about road schedules, um, was there many courses presentation? Do we have like a do we set a schedule every year, or do we have a multi-year schedule, or we just kind of say, well, this road needs to be done? Or that road we go every year with the road to really determine what we need to do this year. Our roads are pretty good shape. We really don't have much. Yeah, they're in good shape. I mean, Brian Park's going to be probably the big one this year that gets attention because it needs it. But the other roads is what we've done, wedging. Mm -hmm. they're, they're pretty good shape. So. But that's how we do it. And then it's usually five to seven year. And then turn around. Resealing. And it's been home. We started the fog seal program on the chip seal the bulb seal a year later and it's given us at least three years extra life out the road. Mm -hmm. It's helping. Yeah, because what, what, what they were saying was, they start out, what kind, of, what kind of township are you? Do you, what do they say? Do they say um, what's your strategy? Are you traditional, like most township, and are reactive? Yes. Or, or are, you, are you more preventative where you set a schedule? It, as wonderful as that concept is, you can't, or we can't, we can't ignore a road that's all torn up right. just because the road, road next to it, which is still in good shape, is scheduled to be yeah. something. We, we don't have that kind of money. I mean, oh, so you got to make those tough choices. It's yeah, it's really, to do you know, yeah. who's the squeaky wheel gets the grease. Okay. It's like we talked about last, I think the last meeting, and we talked about you know, which piece of equipment, you know, should should it be uh, changed every five years or every 30 years, depending upon what it is. Well, you know, if the one in front of you is not working, that's probably the one that's that the needs one to be right. replaced and or repaired. So yeah. um, it's okay. the bane of the small, you know, the small organization. Uh, those sorts of things are better for larger townships yeah. or more ones. I mean, they've got some wonderful ideas about it. You know, every four or every every two years or something, basically putting up a rejuvenator layer of, of yeah. tar crap on top, and it will extend your service life for a blacktop for out for you know ten years instead of seven. Uh -huh. Well, that's fine, but you spent darn near the, yeah. the amount to put okay. uh, you know to chip seal it at the end of seven, and you're only getting three more years of, of, yeah. you know, of rough blacktop. So anyway, that's that's so once you story. do it right around. And yeah. and get in on this collective bid. And then we repair uh, as we need to for the rest of the year. We can, uh, we can, with the, the county is generous enough that generally we're allowed, we, we can add on, you know, somewhere like in July, if they haven't gone around and chip sealed already or, 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 or pay, uh, if, if we find something that we really need, a lot of times we can call them up and say, you know, we'd like to add a half a mile here or, or there. And they generally yeah. They like us to add at the pre con meeting. Yeah. If we can. They don't like us to pick stuff away. No, they don't. <laughs> you know, I, I think. Because that's sandbags, you know, they get everything and they get their prices and they're, oh, well, we don't want to do that. That's uh, yeah, the same thing. I good. think we keep our roads at a good level. We have neighboring townships and hundreds, maybe even, oh, we'll say hundreds of townships statewide that have their roads at a much lower level. 
Yeah, I, I, one, it was um, in Richland Township in Southeast Ohio. And yeah. I, I feel uh, sorry for those trustees. They're just kind of three guys. Probably gravel road. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, we had that at one point. Yeah. Gravel road. Yep. Okay. Anything else? Oh, uh, well, I'm going to be going tomorrow oh, through oh, Tuesday. Oh, Back to work on Wednesday morning. And Brandon's got a list of things he can do. We're covered there. Well, don't come back with a terrible case of sunburn. We complain to us. Okay. Well, I won't complain. Okay. So, uh, we have a, a um, resolution in front of us. Is this one we don't put a number on? It's already on there. Oh. Oh, no, yeah, no, it's not really a resolution. It's just a certification. Oh, that's right. What are you talking about? Uh, oh, this, is the, this is the 2021 Township Highway System Mileage Certification from the Ohio Department of Transportation. Sorry, Don, uh, I didn't give you guys a copy. It's, oh, it's, required, sorry, it's required every year, and it basically reads a total certified mileage at the end of calendar year 2020. I were one year behind, but regardless, for Miami Township, it does say 2020. That's for for Miami yeah, yeah. Township, uh, it has to be back to ODOT no later than March 1, 2022. So I think they got it right there. For Miami Township in Green County was 14.633 miles as certified by the Board of Trustees or reported to by a Director of uh, Transportation in accordance with the provisions specified in ORC 4501. Um, consider all mileage change that occurred, concern, that occurred in calendar year 2021 and determine the net increase or decrease in mileage and the net change to the 20 certified mileage above and fill in the new total. Uh, We're good. So we pass that over here. Four, four, six, or so. Look at the phone, second. Look at the back of it. Look at the back. They took off spillay Oh, that's right. They took off spillay and because of the annexation. So it's 0.146. Yeah, so, 700 and some feet or something like that. So we're down from 14.633 to 14.487? Yes. So we're just certifying our number of miles and votes? Yep. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't get a copy. It was on the table. If you got it right, you fixed the plan. You don't have it. At your leisure, I'd entertain a motion for certification. I so move. I second. Uh, there's a motion and a second for the discussion regarding the certification. Hearing none, may we vote please? Ms. Moyer? Yes. Ms. Mutcher? Yes. Mr. Hollister? Yes. yes. To sign that. And now it's Thank you. Uh, anything further for the road? Uh, zoning inspector, we have no zoning inspector because it's not his day. So we'll move along to. Wait a minute. Look at the phone. What's the matter? How could I have? How could I have missed? What? Um, could, could we go back just to this bathroom? Oh, we haven't got to this bathroom. That's, that's why. Okay. That's what um, I thought we missed. Okay. Now, maybe we do the fiscal officer's report. Sure. Okay. Um, it's, um, I just have a, a resolution, 2022-08, amendment of temporary appropriations. That is where is an ongoing process to accurately appropriate funds according to the needs of the township. Now, therefore, the trustees authorize an amendment to the following temporary appropriations. The fire fund increased training services by $1,000 in Maryland for your sake. That's how we pay um, for several people, you know, to go to, go to Sinclair or, or, or nothing, or whatever. To get tr pay training service, you know, they get trained, it's nice. Cool. And in EMS billing, um, we, I increased, there was, it was zero prior to today, 2281-7640 um, machinery equipment and furniture increased by $22,892.75. That is the, um, that is the, um, AEDs that were purchased for the bill and us, and um, that the total bill was this amount for those AEDs, but we only got five of them, and the village gets I think 15, and they reimbursed us, but 
So we paid for the whole thing and then we did okay, this back there and did so it's all good. Anyway, that's it. A D is a different lawyer. Oh, okay, cool. It's it's the little square ones you see on the walls in, in different places. Uh, we provide those to different businesses and organizations around town. And the village does also. Um, we started that. <laughs> Would you potentially be able to look into uh, our friends at Center Point Energy mm -hmm. and see if there's any way that we can um, give them a tax exempt form so we don't have to pay the forty-six dollars a month tax? Oh, are we doing that? Uh -huh. oh sure. Surprise! Thanks for catching that. Mm -hmm. All this time. It may be flexible. Because of the amount that we, you know, just because of the cold weather, that you know, it's a higher amount during the cold weather. I don't yeah. know, but still, in all, it would be, you know, it would. Yeah, no, yeah. 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 Well, anyway, yeah, sure. Okay. Anyway, is there a motion to adopt resolution twenty twenty two dash zero eight? Oh, is there a motion to adopt? I'm sorry. I would like that. Yeah. Resolution twenty twenty two zero eight. From the floor. I so move. Uh, we have a motion. Is there a second? I'll second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion regarding that resolution? Hearing none, may we vote please? Mr. Foster? Yes. Ms. Moyer? Yes. Mr. Meacher? Yes, ma'am. Um, I just, I do want, I, I said this in the last meeting and I'm going to say it again. I, maybe sometime next month we can powwow and look at them and look at um, appropriations, basically for Maryland's sake. Mm -hmm. yeah, and things are, right. you know, I, but anyway, I would just like to. So. Yeah. Um, at first, but I need, I have to um, get get the certified budget of estimated resources into the system, and um, that I just got from the county auditor certified. So that goes in, then we'll know exactly how much money we're. Well, not exactly, but we'll have a better idea of what we're expected to get for the year. Right now, we're operating on a first quarter basis of finances. So just keep that in mind. So we by by March we have to have our. A real approach. By April. Yeah. yeah. By April. By yeah. the end of March. Yeah. I, I mean, would, I would respectfully request that before we have that meeting with everybody, mm -hmm. if the, the two of you could get together for a small, just basic, you sure. know, numbers yeah. sort of okay. outline, yeah. and then bring that information to to when uh, you know we, we start crunching the bigger numbers. Okay. Yeah. Just yeah. Yeah, we, I, yeah, I will. We okay. will, right? We will. Right? Okay, we will. Okay. <laughs> Great. I don't have anything else right now. Anything else for the zoning, or the zoning, the first sponsor? No? Uh, I think? No. Uh, standing committee reports. That is today. MBRPC, we did not meet last month, but we will meet in February. We have a regional planning coordinating commission. We met yesterday in executive session. Uh, we'll meet next Tuesday for the full committee, but it, it, we will uh, only have a very small uh, agenda, and that includes one subdivision review of the Bluegrass Crossings at Stone Hill Village Phase 1 Final Plan. Other than that, it was just uh, some policy issues and some financial stuff, and uh, off we went. So that was, that was only, gosh, that was like 20 minutes. That was the quickest meeting I think I've ever been to here. Uh, Clifton Union Cemetery, Mr. Hollister. Uh, we did not have a meeting. Uh, but Yellow Springs Community Development Corporation uh, postponed its uh, choosing of officers uh, till this our coming meeting. And I'm just looking on. My calendar, that's February. Come on. Uh, that meeting is scheduled, I guess, February 8th. Uh, that is, the school board hadn't met and made its appointments. 
uh, the village hadn't made its appointments. Um, so there will be significant change in the board membership uh -huh. and we don't know who will be president. Lisa or she's the. She's Lisa Abel apparently uh, is planning not to be president. But don't know for sure. We'll see. So that group is in flux. Next, Grinnell Mill. Okay. No mill. Uh, we're still in the process of transferring uh, operational management of the mill to some, some other entity. Uh, as everyone knows, uh, Mr. Hammond decided he did not want to continue that role after the first of the year, and so we're working on uh, a replacement. I'll let you know the particulars when there are more worked out. Marilyn? You're up. Um, the Climate Sustainability Group has not met, but I did go check out their website and see what, what they've been up to and um, the seven different criteria or committees that they, they've set up within sustainability and um, talked to a few of them. And I noticed in Care, no, it's not Carol's excellent recording, it's Jessica Thomas. Um, that we were mentioned in, in the, the, the village meeting as uh, the village council meeting. Um, Mary, council member Mary McQueen suggested to add to their annual goals that, um, that they create a closer working relationship with the Miami Township Board of Trustees. She said there used to be a partnership between the two entities prior to the creation of the comprehensive use plan in 2010. I'm not suggesting that we do a big visioning process that we did, but I am suggesting that when we think about sustainability, economic and environmental, we really need to be engaging the township. So I just happened to be reading an old paper last, last night and <laughs> I saw that. So I think that's- So you're on the right so, board. So yeah, so it, it kind of worked out that um, that um, we have the same idea at the same time. So. Yeah. Great. Big things ahead, then. <laughs> Anything else? No. Uh, any uh, new business this afternoon? Evening, I'm sorry. We'll, we'll, we'll pass. Uh, any old business this evening? Well, yes, we do. Now, we used to do this a long time ago, and we can either sit here or we can um, move into executive session, which I'm going to propose, and basically uh, end the public portion of the meeting because they'll, uh... Just do it. Make a motion. Okay. <laughs> no, no, we'll make the motion. That is, we, and end the public portion means we're not expecting to well, I take mean, any public action after our executive session. I don't know that. Um, well, then we shouldn't completely end. Well, but we can. Oh, I mean, but we can record it in our minutes, uh, or we could just let the camera roll until we come back, or we can turn the camera off, and then we'll, when we come back, turn it off. We could do that too. Is there a motion to move an executive session for matters of uh, contra legal contract discussion? I so move. Is there a second? Yes. All those in favor of saying aye? Aye. Legal contract negotiations. Right. Contract negotiations. Legal contract negotiations. Yep. Okay. okay. So, um, so, yeah. but then, so, am I staying for this or do I need to? No. Okay. It's up to you. Yeah. You may be here. I'll, 
Okay, we are back in public session at uh, 6.23, and I would uh, entertain a motion for action as a result of the executive session. And I'd like to make a motion that we enter into a contractual agreement with the law firm of Broaches, Johnson, and Gray. Um, I'll second. Okay. There's, a motion, excuse me, there's a motion and a second before us. Uh, any further discussion regarding that motion? Hearing none, may we vote please. Ms. Moyer? Yes. Uh, Mr. Hollister? Yes. I will vote yes. Uh, I would now entertain a motion to, excuse me, is there anything else before us this, this uh, evening? <coughs> no. Hearing none, I entertain a motion to adjourn. I so move. I second. There's a motion and a second. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. We are adjourned. Thank you. Very much.